explanation to all the crazy things you've done. Oh yeah. How? Listen, in a nutshell, what are you trying to say? They seized my container. Me. Me. Are you stupid? Who does that? Why would they seize my container? What? Listen, I will. Hold on. You believe me? Leave me out of the. I'm not in the good anymore. Uh, Oga, listen, 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 listen. I can be very dangerous when I'm angry. What are you saying, my friend? Those goods are not contraband. Now I know what I bought. How? In fact, I'm coming. To you. <laughs> If I go my brother had done by Benz, he done by land. Everybody see him as he spend the cash. He was a very good boy. You asked for her, and here she is. My daughter, please, I'm sorry for what happened. Well, you shouldn't have insulted me. Have you seen what your son did to you? Just. Just take a look up. Just take a look at what your son did to me. I swear to God, you'll pay for this. I'll make sure that he please hear of this. And for your information, I just finished speaking with the Inspector General of Police. So, once you are done recovering in your treatment, straight to jail, Osbunje. No, my son. Please, let her go. You've punished her enough. What have I ever done to you? So you came into my life just to cripple me. You insulted my mom. So you have to pay for it. I want to show you how much I love you. I don't play with you. I can kill her if you want. No, let her go. You almost crippled her, and that's unfair. So what do you want me to do to her as a punishment? I 
I want you to buy her a car. A car? Yes. Go buy her a car to compensate her for what you did to her. At least after that, she can stay away from you. Why is the hatred so strong? I don't take sorry. Make him unconscious. Sir, please. Sir, please, I'm very, very sorry. Please. Drop him. Sir, please. Sir, please. Sir, please. Sir, please. Shut up. Don't talk when I'm talking. Don't even tell me it's the devil or your village people because both are too busy for people like you. I spent hundred and something million, hundred and something million naira cash on mint cars just to have a sexy doings. Now, have you seen hundred million? No, I've not, sir. Have you seen hundred million naira all your life? You've not seen hundred million? Yes, sir. Obviously, you will not see it till you die. Now you stay, oh my god. What you, with Keke? You, 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 you jumped my, my brand new, with Keke? Abu no Bentley, well. Abu no Bentley column, okwem nedi. Abu no Ferrari column, okwem nedi. Why ordinary Keke? Hey! Monsieur Dife, a man and a woman, but then where? And a woman, but then where? Put him in the boot. Nobody will call. How dare you? Move it. You are a fool. How dare you? You are a fool. I will deal with you, and nobody will call. And a woman, but then where? And a woman, but then where? Ella, 
no matter what you do in life, don't ever consider murder as an option. I'm sorry, Ma. You asked for my opinion, and I think killing him is not a bad idea. In case you don't know, my name is Jasper, a.k.a. Anewobodewe. Whatever I want, I get. Are you joking or what? Are you serious? Do I look like a comedian? Excuse me, how can you come from wherever you're coming from to tell me to leave my shop for you if I get this shop? Simply because you find it attractive and spacious. You're making me talk too much and I don't like it. Maybe you did not understand what I said. I am ready to pay any amount. Just mention it. I am ready to pay you any amount you mention. But leave this shop. <laughs> my friend, you can't have my shop. Just, please, 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 just get out of here. I say leave my shop. I don't want to sell my shop. Can't you understand that simple language? Bulletproof. Boss. Kill him. Hey! 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 Who is that bugger? He's a business mogul in town, sir. I've never heard about him. That's because we are new in this town, sir. But he's not your match, sir. Yes. You challenge me. Pastor. Boss. Get me his profile. And do me some underground finding. No problem, boss. See you, see. Turn or turn. My son, I was hearing your voice from inside. I hope all is well. All is well. I have settled out with a car, so you don't need to disturb me about her again. That's so nice of you, my son. I am happy now. I love you, son. Mm. Let's go inside. Your food is ready. <laughs> You, you didn't tell me you are coming. Why didn't you call me before coming? Oh, man. I'm sorry for not calling you before coming. My phone is 40. I've told you that before. Why are you worried? Oh, are you not happy seeing me? Can I not for permission to be able to Where is your husband? I'm also here to see my husband, he, he actually stepped out. Wait, are you saying your bedroom is no longer yours? Emma, that is what I am telling you. Jasper threw me out of the bedroom and brought in the maid. My own matrimonial bedroom, Mama. Eh? <laughs> this is unbelievable. Where did he go? If it's for an appointment. <laughs> you mean all this happened? And you never tried to return home? How can I return home? Several times I've attempted to leave this house. Well, Jasper wouldn't let me. Mama, Jasper has practically turned me into a house help in my own house. You need to see the security details Jasper has now. Jasper is no longer the man we know. Nonsense. Nonsense! I will wait for him until he returns. Then I will talk some sense into his head. Mama, Mama, Mama. You, you cannot do that to me. You only worsen in my situation. Eh 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 eh. Even your enemies. 
What's the problem? I'm considering your offer. What offer are you talking about? I want to join your group. I need protection. Agent, what was the meaning of what you told me on the phone? So I'm very sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. The owners of this property called earlier to inform me that Mr. Spanner here has shown interest on this property earlier. So, Upa Pugum Naka. What is Mr. Spanner? Indomie baby. Spaghetti boy. Even if you don't have fear, you should have respect. Now you listen and listen real good. Over my dead body, will I let you have that property? <laughs> you must be a comedian. No, you are the one who looks like a comedian. But I know how to handle your time. You have ten minutes to go out of my way with this year. He's left out all oh, your foolish but the guards. I have a day, she, but don't waste your bullet. This is not a right decision, but she, he refused. Um, I don't know, he used to be a very sweet man. However he changed, I don't know. What is going on here? Oh, 
welcome back. Oh, you're welcome, madam. Keep your welcome to yourself and answer my question. My in-law, you are very stupid. Yes, you are stupid and senseless at the same time. How dare you visit someone like me without calling my phone? Are you mad? Ebo, zoo. Common sense is not common. You want me to call you so that you will cook your usual lies for me and dissuade me not to visit. Now I've known what is going on. She has told me everything. She has told me how shameless you are by fornicating outside your marriage. I thought I you are a human, human being when you came to ask for my daughter's hand in marriage. Eh! It is not okay. Please, don't okay me. Don't! Look at my daughter's face and tell me if she is still the little girl I handed to you in marriage many years ago. All right, um, confused woman. I don't blame you because poverty has eaten deep into your skull. If you must know, your little girl is nothing but a spoiled, barren brat. As a matter of fact, I regret all the money I spent on her. Now is still time for you to send her away so that she will go and meet real men. Real men that will appreciate her for her kind-hearted being she is. Not a frustrated animal like you. Really? Well, in case you don't know, sending your barren daughter out of my house is not a problem. The problem is who will give me back the money I spent on her. All the doings money, shopping, taking her out. I bought a car for her. I paid her bride price. Who will refund my money? You are sitting down there telling me with your ugly face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Send her back home. Where is my money? Who, who, who will refund me? Refund me now. Let me send her packing. Bulletproof. My daughter is not bad. Okay, boss. All right. Boss. Okay. So give me a Boss. Okay. 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 Beyond physical war, sir. 
I think we have to fortify ourselves and get ready for spiritual disaster. Hmm. Not one book for your channel. Bro. I'm in the silence. I slap you. I'm sorry, sir. If, if I slap you, your spirit will jump out of you. Listen, you are my wife. So cut down on the yes, sir. Fine, sir. Stop shivering at the sight of me. Get me a new name, something romantic. Everyone that wear sugar pie, honey pie, my love, sexy baby, sexy. In fact, call me biscuit, but be romantic for once. Do you understand? Okay, oh my God, also cool okay, sir. Okay, let me choose one for you. Call me honey. Can you do that? Like bad, 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 bad. No. Okay? Just that the frequency is A1. So I want you to meet up so we can be on the same frequency. Do you understand? I'm not a bad person, okay? Just that I take life too serious. I expect everybody around me to do the same. Do you understand? So relax and act like my wife, okay? Smile. 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 I said smile. Let me see your teeth smile, like smile. Let me see your teeth smile. Don't you have teeth? I said smile. 
Good. I'm hungry. Get me food. You have three minutes to do that. Fast. You have three minutes to do that. Why is the hatred so strong? Why there's been no kind of explanation to all the crazy things you've done? I think this is the great opportunity for me to deal with this wicked man. I will poison this food. He will eat and die. Evil man. Why is the hatred so strong? Why there's been no kind of explanation? dream about you last night and I don't think it's safe for you to go out today Please. Mama, I've told you I don't believe in dreams leave me here, I'm not afraid of anybody Chukwebuka don't be as stubborn as your father Mama, I'm not like my father so please don't compare me to him then you listen to me your mother okay fine, let me just go to the church and see the priest Thank you so much, my son. But be very careful. You are in my prayers, okay? Boys, let's go. Let's go. The boss! Go in your turn up. Hello. How long does it take a poison to work after taking it? Any idea? No, ma. Do you mind telling me why you asked? Jasper has beaten more than he can chew. I can take anything from him. But laying his filthy hands on my mother, I will not tolerate that. I know his death is my only way out of this marriage. And I will make sure he suffers. I will make him suffer before he dies.
I want to fortify him. Let us fortify him. No weapon shall penetrate him. No weapon shall kill him. No man born of a woman shall kill him. Confirm. Okay, no me no. No me no. Unko, eke, oria, afo. Ono oku, ono ani, elu, ala. Asi mo ni ba zame kule. Make it. Young man, what is that your name again? Espana. Espana. <coughs> Put yourself together. <laughs> this is where your power lies. With this, no man born of a woman shall kill you. No bullet shall penetrate you. But make sure you wear it always. <laughs> I will reward you handsomely. <laughs> I am the great Ijele. I cannot say what I cannot do. Nebolandi ba so eke ne monu. Now is the time to test the efficacy of my power. Stand up. Jelen, what do you want to do? I want to test the efficacy of my power on him. If anything happens to my boss, both of us, we die here. Speak less, young man. Keep your hand this way. Keep your hand like Where's my son? Where's my son, Chukwebuka? How can you go out with him and you came back alone? Where is he? Where's my son? Now tell me, 
Is he the same guy you said that challenged you the other day? Mama, that's just a fact. I've told you I've, I've handled the, that. You need to leave this town. I can't afford anything happen to my son. Else I will kill myself. I will kill myself, Ebuka. I'm not letting like anything happen to you once in my life. No. I'm not letting like anything happen. Just go inside and come. Prepare delicious food for you. I just, just you are not going to leave this house again today. Okay. Let's go inside. No problem. Just go and the food out. I'm coming inside. Yes, boss. See why he's dead. Yes, boss. Locate his cuffs and take him to the neutral. No problem, boss. Thank you. So. Come with me. All right, sir. Come with me. All right, sir. What is it? Mom, I need to see a priest. And why do you want to see a priest? Uh, there's something I never told you. Only time something good wants to happen, sickness will just come back <coughs> from nowhere. And all the money I realized from the business. I'm telling you, I'm only going go now. And why have you not told me all this way? Mama, you have been far from me. Mama, come here to me a lot. I need to confess to a priest. Chukwebuka, how deep is your commitment? Indomi baby. Spaghetti boy. You have beaten more than you can chew. Takama wagon and woe, but then what?
Bulletproof. Boss. Settle him. Ma no colada, calhonha colher. Chu! Eu tô muito a Father. Sin. He's your father. Agent, what was the meaning of what you told me on the phone? Sir, so I'm very sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. The owners of this property called earlier to inform me that Mr. Spanner here has shown interest on this property earlier. So, what is Mr. Spanner? Indomie baby. Spaghetti boy. Even if you don't have fear, you should have respect. Now you listen and listen real good. Over my dead body, will I let you have that property? <laughs> you must be a comedian. No, you are the one who looks like a comedian. But I know how to handle your time. You have 10 minutes to go out of my way with this year. Who's left out? All your foolish but the guards. I have a day, she, but don't waste your bullets.
Indomie baby, you have beaten more than you can chew. It's time to tell you now they won't be there. Even if you don't have the Let's go, 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 let's Angelina. I told him I was pregnant. And he promised to take responsibility and to see my people so they can discuss marriage. I was so happy, but my mother never liked it. My mother never liked him because of the way I used to tell her how he normally beats me. He wondered how I'm going to cope when he finally gets married to me. I didn't want to tell anybody about the pregnancy until I was sure of him coming. Then when my parents got to know that I was pregnant, that was the last time I saw a head from him. They were so disappointed that the man in question was never anywhere to be found. I suffered alone. My parents rejected me. Mama! I suffered until I gave birth to you, Chukwebuka. Mama, I still don't believe this man sitting here is my father. Why are you blowing away on a weekend? He's my father. Yes, he's your father. To and the same man I told you not to copy his lifestyle. I didn't know he was still alive because I caused him to remain childless until death. Angelina, I understand how you feel. And you have every right to be angry. But truth be told, it's not my fault. I traveled out of Abauta telling anyone because my agent advised I do so. But when I got back, I searched for you. Believe me, I searched for you everywhere but to now. So I decided to get married. But since then, my wife has been suffering from childlessness. Am I the proud male? I left her that way, Bado. 
That was where I gave birth to him. You abandoned me. You abandoned your child. What have I done to you? Angela, I, I understand how you feel. But like I said, I'm sorry. No young boy wants to talk about family without being financially stable. A woman can know so. But having said that, please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Usita, the one more the one more. I am ready to write my wrongs. Please, forgive me. As for my son here. <laughs> Please sit. I don't wish to sit down. Talk, I can hear you. My lovely wife, please, I'm sorry, forgive me, I know I've wronged you in so many ways, please, I'm sorry. I've, call, I've called the police and told them to release your mother. I, I don't understand. Are you for real or is this one of your jokes? I'm not joking. You can go pick her up from the police station. From the deepest part of my heart, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you all this while. Sorry for not keeping to my promise. Please, we can start afresh. I'm now a changed person. I don't understand your sudden change of mind. 
Jasper, for Christ's sake. You treated me like a slave in this house. Jasper, you threw me out of our matrimonial room. Jasper, what haven't you done to me in this house? My love, I, I was frustrated. I was confused. Let's just call it youthful exuberance. I, I can't even explain what came over me. But please, forgive me. I'm sorry. I am... I am the reason for our childlessness. I, I, I got someone pregnant and abandoned her. Out of anger, she cursed me that I will never have my own child. That's the reason you've not been able to conceive. Listen, doctor, I can't read all this. Summarize the message for me. Well, this is what I wanted to give Michelle before you took it from me. So what is what's going on? Uh, from the medical test carried out on you, you are medically fit to impregnate any woman. Why then am I finding it difficult? to make babies. Well, that I cannot tell. Name me the fault my blame from your wife. You're very stupid. Sorry, sir. Don't tell me sorry. I hate that word, sorry. I don't even believe in sorry. You've carried out several tests on my wife and you told me she is medically fit to make babies, right? Yes, of course. So what is the problem? Well, Mr. Jasper, that I cannot tell. I married my wife a virgin. Okay? And according to your medical report, she is fit. According to your medical report, I am fit. So why are we finding it difficult to have children? Or if I may say, it might be a spiritual conspiracy. You see why I said you are a stupid and confused doctor? Can you imagine? A medical doctor talking about spiritual conspiracy. It's obvious you're stupid and confused. A medical doctor telling me that it might be a spiritual problem. From this moment, you cease to be my doctor. Mr. Gaspar.
Jasper. Jasper! What's the, what's the meaning of this? You're not supposed to be here. Where is Ella? Jasper, what is this? I am asking you, what is this? It's an ordinary calabash. An ordinary calabash. Jasper, this fetish thing is an ordinary calabash. I've always known. You know, I was so blind, I was daft, I was blinded with love that I didn't even notice it when it's written all over you. Jasper, you're a fetish. You? You're a ritualist for Christ's sake. Jasper, you tied my womb. I couldn't give you a child and you blame me for everything. What are you talking about? Jasper, you tied my womb. No one that can even conceive. No one that can give you a child. And you blame me for everything! Jasper, you cost it! This is just a calabash. I bought it from the art gallery. Who are you lying to? You think I'm still blind? No, I can't see. You know, you should be saying your last prayer. Because by the time I'm done smashing this, it will be gone. And whatever power you have over me is gone. You kept me waiting and I don't like it. Honey, I was trying to save you, Rio. Get out. Hello, come here. Where are you coming from? You went outside to do what? I went outside to get my clothes and left the whole of yesterday to dry. I couldn't find you on my bed last night. Where did you sleep? I slept here. You slept on my couch? You slept on my couch? Do you know how much I bought this? Can your miserable, poor family afford it? You slept on my couch. Listen, you will be sleeping in my room 247. Do you understand? Let me know. Do you understand? Sir, please, can you allow me to leave? Can I allow you to leave? No. You're going nowhere. Go to the dining room. I'm coming. I want you to feed me. I told your father that this is not a right decision, but she, he refused. Um, I don't know. I don't know. He used to be a very sweet man. However, he changed. I don't know. I don't understand. So, Jasper has turned into something else. He's no longer the man. <laughs> Sit down. Mm 
What is going on here? You are welcome back. Oh, you're welcome, madam. Keep your welcome to yourself and answer my question. My in-law, you are very stupid. Yes, you are stupid and senseless at the same time. How dare you visit someone like me without calling my phone? Are you mad? Ebo, zoo. Oh. Common sense is not common. You want me to call you so that you will cook your usual lies for me and dissuade me not to visit. Now I've known what is going on. She has told me everything. She has told me how shameless you are by fornicating outside your marriage. I thought I you are a human being when you came to ask for my daughter's hand in marriage. Eh, it is not okay. Please, don't okay me. Don't. Look at my daughter's face and tell me if she is still the little girl I handed to you in marriage many years ago. All right, I'm um, confused woman. I don't blame you because poverty has eaten deep into your skull. If you must know, your little girl is nothing but a spoiled, barren brat. As a matter of fact, I regret all the money I spent on her. Now is still time for you to send her away so that she will go and meet real men. Real men that will appreciate her for her kind-hearted being she is. Not a frustrated animal like you. Really? Well, in case you don't know, sending your barren daughter out of my house is not a problem. The problem is who will give me back the money I spent on her. All the doings money, shopping, taking her out, I bought a car for her, I paid her bright price. Who will refund my money? You are sitting down there telling me with your ugly face. He, 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 he sent her back home. Where is my money? Who, who, who will refund me? Will refund me and let me send her packing. My daughter is not bad. All right. Oh, give me a walk by going to Swiss. No come mad. I can do a You could go to Swiss. My brother, I'm fine. No, I go one. You confuse old looking woman. What's up? Even when I Switzerland. My daughter is just sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Just by it was you. All these years of childlessness. Just by all those years you labeled me barren. All these years I have bear the pain of not having my own child. Me. So it was all your fault. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. I, I, I abandoned her because I needed to fix my life. I needed to. I. I looked for her when I wanted to marry, but she was nowhere to be found. Please. Let's start afresh. I'm now a changed person. Ella. Ella, please forgive me. I'm sorry. Please. Why? Jasper, why did you say it yesterday? Why did you say it a few hours ago? 
Why? Because it's too late. What have you done? my son forgive him mom why should i forgive him why because he's your father and you need him mom i don't need him i have been surviving all these years without him so he's nothing to me you can do it for me chukwebuka i never knew i would see him in this life again but I believe God has a purpose for doing this. Please. Mom. I'm going to say again, Having you alone in my life is enough for me. I don't need a father. Not an arrogant one. Chukwebuka. You told me you want to confess and make amend. This is the first step of making that amendment. Forgiveness. Forgive him, please. That arrogant man abandoned you to raise me all alone. And I know how you suffered. I know. You're right, my son. I suffered. I suffered so much to the point of cursing him. But here I am pleading on his behalf. If I can forgive him, I know you can do that too. Please. Where are you? What do you want? Please, we're here to see Mr. Jasper. He's not in. Where did he go to? He was rushed to the hospital. Which hospital, please? Medical clinic. She prays for you. Every night she prays for you. Then she cries for you. Every time she cries for you.
If I go to the 